Well, hello, YouTube. Um, making a little video, hopefully, will help you out a little bit on TreasureCon, on the ACOG. I wish I found this video on YouTube, but I couldn't. That's why I'm making it. The length of it, the scope coat, um, the things I got from Optic Planet that helps me out, and hopefully it will help you out. And a little bit specs on it. This is the ACOG. I got put a um, kill flash on it. Do I need it? Probably not, but I like them. I like using them. Now the specs on it before I put it on. That's the kill flash. The length for the treasure con is six inches. Now I added the kill flash and added like give and take another inch. Um, the scope coat that came with it, it will fit it just fine. Or maybe I bought it separately. I really don't remember. So here it fits just fine to protect your makeup. Now, the minute you put this on it, it's not going to fit. As you see, it's already tight fit. So when I put it on it, Now you add it, I don't know, you and take, let's see, you literally add seven inches long, so you add an extra inch. Um, hopefully you guys can see it. So, yeah. So we start here and here, right at the 7 inch mark. Before that, if we started here, you end up at the 6 inch mark. Okay, now to cover this, I got this from Optic Planet. The scope code for TreasureCon. If you read here, the ACOG T as in Tom, A as in Adam, 1 1, T A 11. Um, that fits it just fine. And it fits just fine. So now, hopefully that will help you out. Have another option, you know, if you want to put the gill flash and go from there. I don't know that, just junk, junk, junk. I'm more junk. All right, guys, hopefully that helps you out. Stay tuned for another video. I'll be changing the base on this Trigicon ACOG. Putting it on to a quick disconnect. I'll explain the reason why. Also, I will have another one for a Trigicon AccuPower or AccuPoint um, and their scope codes. Alright, see you soon.